Lovely song. Three, two, one. One. Oh, almost this that one. And it's going to go to the floor with this one. All right, guys, so a couple of years ago, I posted a video showing you guys my uh, homemade pitching machine feeder, not the actual pitching machine, but the actual feeder that automatically fed the ball to the machine itself. So that was when I was in New York. Um, then we moved down to Florida. I think, I believe I sold that whole pitching machine, the whole cage. So now, because you guys have been asking so many questions on how was it that I did that, I went ahead and did one on a budget. The price that I paid for the items um, was $2.66 and used a whole bunch of stuff um, you know, around the house that anybody could have. In the item that I bought, you guys could get as well. So, wow, this thing scared me. The SD just went on and I almost jumped. Anyways, hope it's not too loud. But I see this pipe here. The pipe went from there all the way down here. I cut it in half because that was the perfect dimension for the uh, softball to go through it. So let me go to the back where I have everything laid out for you guys so I can show you what I did. And we're going around. Before I keep going, let me stop, rewind, and show you guys what store I went to, what I got, and what I did with it. So I ended up going to one of those secondhand stores because I wanted something super cheap because let's face it, I was just gonna break it. First, I was looking for a microwave and take the motor out of it. But then I ran into this citrus uh, squeezing thing, which I plugged it in and the speed was actually kind of good, nice and slow. So I ended up getting it just because it was like $4.99, I think it was. Yeah, $4.99. And why not, right? If it breaks, it breaks. So I took it home, went to the garage, pulled it apart, took the top off, and then went ahead and started to take the screws off to open it. The reason being that this thing worked, it activated when you put an orange on top of it or any type of citrus on top of it and put pressure on it. But I wanted the motor to engage as soon as you plugged it into the wall, to the outlet. So I took it off, took the motor off, and pretty much this is the uh, pressure switch that I needed to bypass. So I went ahead and cut that off and basically just bypass it because when you press that, it actually engage that switch somehow, and that's what I was trying to bypass. So I went ahead and cut everything off, those two wires. So then I went ahead and merged those two wires together with one of those little uh, sleeves. And the reason is that, again, I wanted the motor to engage as soon as you plug it into the wall. So this is the best way to do it. Just bypass the wire. Then I got some pliers and basically, you know, squeeze them together because I don't have a way to do any type of welding. So this was the best, you know, fastest, cheapest, safest way to get it done. All right, so after putting that back together, I went ahead and put the motor back on. It only was secured by two screws on each side. Once that was done, I went ahead and put the uh, copper back in. And that's about it. That is the part that I need. Now, after that, I just need to figure out how to put it into the actual pipe, how to make it work. All right, now let's plug it into the wall and see if it works. Nice, it is working. That's what we wanted. As soon as we plug it in, the unit turns on. And as you can see, this thing has a lot of uh, torque, a lot of force, and that's what you want because you don't want the ball getting stuck as it goes through. You want it to have a lot of pressure on it, a lot of force. So now I gotta figure out how to get this inside the uh, pipe so that it catches onto the ball as the ball goes through. So I'm gonna use a jigsaw and basically cut a little section of the pipe to somehow secure this unit right onto it.
I still don't know exactly how I'm going to get this on, but and this is not going to look pretty, guys. It's just going to be something cheap and something that works. All right, so as you can see, I made a space for it, and now it's time to get this thing secured. If you guys get like a microwave motor, it still has a lot of torque, and it's a lot smaller to uh, play with it because this unit is pretty, you know, bulky and heavy. So it makes it a little bit more complicated, but at the same time, this unit, this um, citrus squeezer is a lot cheaper than getting a microwave, unless you guys could find a broken, you know, microwave at your house or something like you use and take the motor out. So back to where we started in the video. Let me show you the setup. All right, so as you guys can see, this is my pitching machine here. It's uh, a fence blast, I think it is. This is the actual part that I got. That I actually cut off from the other side because I didn't want to spend any money. And then, as you can see here, this is the uh, orange um, citrus squeezer that I bought. And basically, took the top off and was able to secure it here with some elastics. And what I, the elastic that I use for this, like you, you could use anything, but what I used was the uh, holder for this light that goes over your head. Took that off and basically just um, secured the the citrus um, squeezer on it. And what it does, let me see if you guys can see, it's so dirty, but the motor's gonna spin inside and basically let the balls through slowly, as you can see here. So this is gonna spin around, letting the balls in go through here one by one. Because if you see here, it fits in perfectly. So when it gets to this section here, it's gonna actually bump this and stop. But once I get that motor going, then it will be able to uh, let it go through one by one. All right, so what I also did was that I'm gonna add this here. This is basically a, um, that I had around the house for my Christmas tree, I think it was. It's just an out, on and off, um, remote switch you basically plug anything to here and then you have the ability to turn it on and off so let's say i'm actually the batter i could go ahead and turn this on and off whenever i want to all right so let me set everything up here and i'll come right back with you guys all right guys so this is the setup this is what we have and this is what we're going to attempt to use as an automatic pitching machine hopefully it works it should work now, the pipe that I got from the back, there it is. Um, and then we also got the camera stand. We have a few of these that we use around the house. We also added to all of them a little arm. And this is supposed to be to hold um, cell phones in place to record. Um, it works out perfectly because now you can actually hold on to the pipe. This pipe, like I said, is uh, I think three inches. And as you can see the ball, as I mentioned before, fits perfectly through there. Um, in this side, you can see it better. The ball's gonna stop here, and then once the squeezer, the orange or citrus squeezer starts to spin, it's gonna let the ball through one by one. Um, I added both of these, the power for that, and the squeezer are connected to this, and then I have that remote on and off switch here which I'll be able to turn it on through here. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Again, I didn't want to drill this in because I didn't want to um, kind of, you know, have any screws sticking inside because it was going to interfere with the, with the ball running through it. So if you could see through here, that's where the ball's going to stop. Can it focus? Kind of. So that's gonna be spinning 
and then the boat's gonna stop and go slowly once it gets to that section. So yeah, what do you guys think so far? And the price on this, even though it was $4.99, um, they, have, they had like a 50% clearance, so I paid like $2.66 for the whole thing, for the unit itself. So let's get ready to test it. We're gonna go ahead, grab some. Um. One, two, three, I'm gonna leave it in here. Four, five, six, seven. Let's just do eight. I think you still have a lot more room, but yeah. I know you guys wanna see it. So let's go ahead, let's give it a shot. So this is already, the speed for this is already at somewhat like halfway. So Let's turn it on and see how it looks. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, so as you guys can see, as you guys can see, uh, this is how it works. The motor is spinning still, so this one, when I turn it off, it'll stop. And then obviously you could adjust the, um, the angle for this as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and continue testing. That was actually pretty cool. I was actually surprised that it was working so good the first time around, you know? So yeah, the angle on the, on the um, pitching machine, you could adjust through here, make you go up or down, whatever you want. Wow, that was pretty good. Let's try it again. All right, let me uh, get all the balls, reset and try it again for you guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go on the little raft over there, get my glove and attempt to uh, catch some balls as the machine shoots them out to me. I have the remote, so I'm gonna be able to turn it on once I'm over there and let's see how it goes. All right, guys, that's about it. Let me go ahead and that was the last one. Let me turn this off. As you can see here, this is what I like because I could actually be, let's say I'm, at, I'm about to start batting. I could be over here and turn it on and off. You guys hear that? Turn it on. All right, so like I said before, this whole the little citrus uh, sheet right here only cost me $2.66. I went to one of those, um, what are they called? The places that sell secondhand stuff. I don't know exactly what 
to use. Last time I used a microwave motor, which will work the same way, but I didn't feel like spending $20 on a microwave, so ended up doing it this way. It could be done with anything, but this is the um, cheapest way I could get it made. Again, a citrus um, squeezer thing, and it was just $2.66. Any comments, let me know if you guys need help making one. Um, the video's here, just follow my simple steps and you'll be on your way. All right, that's about it guys. Don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you drop a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.